So hello friends, in today's video, we will discuss about automatic shutoff alarm. This automatic shutoff alarm appears on CNA devices on amplifier. So we will discuss in details what is the automatic shutoff alarm, on which device it came and on which port it appears. So we will discuss automatic shutoff alarm in both the scenario, unidirectional fiber cut and bidirectional fiber cut. So I have taken this uh, DWDM signal flow as a circuit reference and we will discuss in this portion in which there will be a fiber cut and the alarms will appear on the amplifier devices. So let's take the example of unidirectional fiber cut. So this is the site A amplifier, this is the site Z amplifier. You can see here this is the direction from site A to site Z and this is the direction from site Z to site A. This is the fiber span, this is the length of the fibers. So what happens when the fiber cut appears? So when there is a fiber cut appears, this port number eight or this amplifier will appear the optical line fail alarms because there is no signal or receiving. This, there is OSC loss of frame, OSC loss of power, amplifier loss of power and this, this amplifier will show the optical line fail alarms. So when there is an optical line fail alarm appears, so it will, it means there is no signal receiving on this port. So when there is no receiving on, there is no uh, any signal receiving on port eight, then there is no mean of transmitting the signal from port number five. And hence this amplifier will shut off. So this amplifier also shut off, means this amplifier will not amplify the signals. So this uh, amplifier will raise automatic shut off alarm. When the signal, when this amplifier receives the opti optical signal fail, the opposite direction amplifier on the same side, on the same card will appear automatic shut off. You can see here, this automatic shut off appears on this amplifier. And on the opposite direction, you can see shut off threshold cross alarm appears on here because there is no any uh, amplifier signal is receiving on port number eight because this is amplifier signal is amplifier is shut off so amplifier signal is not receiving but there is a USC signal you can see here this is receiving on port number eight at this side so shut off threshold cross alarm will appear on this amplifier upstream amplifier is forced into shut off based on the receiving the OSA defect indication from reverse direction so what the signal what the OSC signal which is coming from port number eight here you can see port number eight is signal is coming and on this basis of that signal this amplifier will automatic shut off so we are focusing here on automatic shut off alarm which appears because of optical line fail alarm appears on the opposite direction of amplifier on the same side so let's see what the port number you can see here this is the setup Fiber cut is happened, optical line fail alarm appear on the on this amplifier port number eight. So sequence two, reverse direction amplifier will be shut off. OSC injects defect signal into port five from port five. Automatic shut off alarm appear on port number six. Now here you can see loss of C-band signal due to upstream amplified shut off. Amplifier is shut off. You can see here this amplifier is shut off. So there is a complete loss of C-band signals. But OSC is still present in this case. Shut off threshold cross appears on this amplifier and port number eight. And uh, due to this OSC signal, which is having the uh, this defect signal indication by which this amplifier will shut off automatic shut off and this alarm will appear on port number six. So let's see the bidirectional fiber cut. You can see here this is the same setup, but we will cut both the fiber here. You can see both the fiber is disturbed. The sequence pin. There will be optical line no optical line fail alarm on this amplifier. And sequence two reverse direction amplifier will be uh, forced to shut off and this amplifier will produce the automatic shut off alarm you can see here automatic shut off alarm appears on this amplifier because port number eight is having optical line fail alarm in the same case you can see port number eight or this amplifier also not received any power hence this port number this amplifier will also declare optical line fail alarm and what happens when this optical line fail alarm appears on this 
there will be an automatic start of alarm automatically on appears on amplifier reverse direction of amplifier you can see automatic shut off so let's see bidirectional fiber cut port so here when both the fiber cuts there will be optical line fail alarm on this amplifiers port number eight you can see here reverse direction amplifier will be shut off and this alarm will appear on this amplifier port number six in the same way there will be optical line fail alarm on this amplifier port number eight and the automatic shut off alarm will appear on this amplifier port number six so this is all about automatic shut off alarm which appears when there is no any signal is received on the opposite direct opposite direction amplifier on the same side thanks for watching